Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Nice punch, man. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponents can't take many of them. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Great punch. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. What a fantastic... Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Man! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Close guard. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom. Got to stay active off of your back. Able to land the single ground strike there. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Right. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after the Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Go fight, right? Blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Trying to establish that jab once again. Fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent got him low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Dude. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent is trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Right hook to the head, blocked. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Oh, nice combination, yeah. yeah. 
Three minutes now to go in this one. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Throws the right hand there. Oh! And landed some nasty strikes. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how fast. And the only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. going round two. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Twenty seconds to go round two. Punch no good. Oh, crippling knee to the body. What a round. <laughs> All right, so let us now check out some of the action in the. Nice round, guys. You ready? You ready? Five minutes to go. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Oh, oh what a shot to the body. She told us he was doing it. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Huge shots there. That D, that D hurt him. Huge elbow there. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, oh, by he mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Seminal moment for him 